Hey guys, welcome back to Nicopara Volume 2. This is Teacher Your Gamer Girl signing on. So, last episode, it had to be age restricted. If you saw the thumbnail, you and you might have a clue as to why. So, I do kind of want to apologize for that. Um, I feel like if I didn't, you two probably would have come after me for it. Um, so, yeah, it's not like I really lose anything. I probably lost a few views, but that, that's fine. I don't monetize my videos, except for the people that force monetize it. I'm looking at you, Avex Tracks. So, yeah. Um, Azuki is apparently now in our room, calming down after she freaked out. Oh, for the for that situation. <laughs> oh, sorry, Ozuki. Did I wake you up? Oh, yeah, don't worry about it. It's fine. Just sleep. She jumps to her feet and I try to calm her down. It's 10 p.m. The cafe's closed and everyone else has already gone home. Relax. I went looking for you after you never came back from your break. I found you fast asleep in my bed and you wouldn't wake up. I figured you must have been exhausted, so I just let you sleep. I had Vanilla change you into something a bit more comfortable, though. You didn't look too comfy sleeping in your uniform. <sighs> she hides her face in her hands, and her shoulders droop as she sighs. Don't worry about it. It's not like it happens often. You're the oldest cat girl, so you're under a lot of stress having to look after everyone, right? Even you need a break sometimes. I've said it before, but you're always such a big help, Azuki. If you're not feeling well sometimes, just let me know, okay? We're buds, right? I sit down on the bed and ruffle Azuki's hair. Yeah. Her words trail off before she can finish her sentence. Her lips are pursed together as if she wants to tell me something, though. She squeezes the blanket tightly with her hands, but doesn't seem to cheer up at all. I worried I gaze at her. Azuki, what's wrong? She nods and turns her and turns her bright red face towards me. Yesterday. Yesterday. Wait, you saw all that? Okay, thank you, Windows. I fa I thought everything was all ready. I don't know what happened. It registered that something w got plugged in to USB with er, d d b I haven't <sighs> yeah uh that All right now I get it things suddenly get a bit awkward and I instinctively avert my gaze <laughs> You saw. 
I see. So it wasn't just Chocolat who discovered us. Don't you mean Coconut? Coconut found us! Chocola was the one macking lips with me! Even if even Azuki saw us. I guess we really weren't paying attention, huh? Well, cat's out of the bag now. Oh my god, what is even? Now it just registered something as not being plugged in. Are you. She blushes bright red as she looks straight at the ground. And her hands fiddle with the hem of the blanket. Hmm. It's. Um. Uh. I'm sorry. いや、別に謝れとかそういうんじゃなくて、私の方が勝手に舞い上がってたっつうか、その、な、なんとにかく、それで調子狂ってただけで、全然心配されるようなことじゃねえから。She crosses her arms tightly across her chest and lets out a sensual sigh. I always considered Azuki to be a cat girl who wasn't afraid to speak her mind or tell dirty jokes. I've never seen her look so embarrassed. It's actually a bit cute. And now I'm shamelessly checking her out. Alright, if that's what you want. Our eyes met awkwardly. Yeah, it's nothing, Vanilla. Don't worry about it. What's Chocola up to? I don't need to know that much, Vanilla. More now. まあ、まあ、ご主人は気にな。それで、あずきは大丈夫。あ、ああ。妹に心配されるようなことはねえよ。ダニラも私の着替えとかしてもらったみたいで、すまねえな。いえいえ、その程度のことで、あずきは本当
本当はここにいたいんじゃないの Vanilla brings her face close to Azuki's. And almost immediately, Azuki backs away from Vanilla. But Azuki can't escape Vanilla's iron claw. Iron, iron claw? Okay. Azuki flinches upon hearing Vanilla's threat. What are you talking about, Vanilla? <laughs> With a sadistic smile, Vanilla wraps her arms around Azuki from behind. <laughs> Vanilla brings her face toward the shaken Azuki and presses her lips against the nape of her neck. Vanilla would have a turn. Chocola did with coconut. Why not vanilla with Azuki? Okay. She picks at Azuki and her lips stick to Azuki's. It's not as bad as what Azuki did with the 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 custard. So hopefully I don't I don't think I'm gonna have to age restrict this one. Her dainty tongue crawls along Azuki's neck like a pink snake. The the details though. And every time Vanilla's lips make contact. Azuki lets out a moan, though she desperately tries to stifle it. Wait, Vanilla, what are you- ガシュジンは待っててって言ったでしょ。アズキの可愛い声でも聞いて待ってて。何勝手なこと言って。アズキってばすごく敏感。首筋だけでこれなら。<笑> Vanilla swiftly extends her hand toward Azuki's chest. Am I gonna have to age restrict this? I don't know. I mean, I'm willing to risk it and let YouTube age restrict it. I'm not going to argue about that because I have no idea. でも、その素直じゃないキャップもまた燃え。それを素直にさせるのがまたたまらない。だ、だから何勝手なことばっか言って。うわ、うわ、うわ、そんな強く。にゃあ。こっちも一緒にしてあげる。<笑> 
Her breathing is ragged, and she glares at Vanilla with watery, bitter eyes. Vanilla licks her lips, and with a mocking grin, she looks Azuki in the eye. Seeming to overflow with painful anticipation, she turns her longing gaze upon me. She gulps and shifts uneasily. ここまでされてもしたくてたまらないんでしょ。ここまでされてしたくないわけないと。私だって一応女なんだから興味はあるつうか。she glances back and forth between me and the bed countless times. Like she's searching for some kind of confirmation in my expression. In contrast to her desperate demeanor, she turns her defeated and softened features towards me. Again! What is it with them not being able to just come right out? And say, hey, do you want to screw? No, they have to say, do you want to do perverted things with me? Or I want to do perverted things with you. It's like, just come right out and actually say it. Well, if chocolate, vanilla, and coconut seem to be okay with it, I think you'd be fine too. Azuki, you know? It's not like that. She prods vanilla's pouting face with a finger. Her bright red face wavers back and forth. <笑>歌唱のことが好きなんだよ。愛とか恋とかよくわかんねえけど、多分ショコラもバニラもナッツも歌唱に抱いてもらって羨ましいって。Oh, you're not alone. I'm not entirely familiar with it. I tried to have a relationship, and I honestly have no idea what goes into it besides, you know, loving them. That's it. Asuki. I 
私だって一応女だって言ってんだからよあんだけ優しくされりゃそりゃその気にならないわけないだろ She struggles to get her words out in her quiet, lawning voice. And she looks at me. This is not the usual, always determined Azuki. Before me is a girl who I want to protect. You wanted in on some of the action, didn't you? She looks up at me on the verge of tears. And in her eyes, I can see she's begging for forgiveness. With bleary eyes and a cracking voice, she clings to my chest. <laughs> she grins again, but there's no malice in it this time. And smiling sweetly, she turns to me. You're being very pushy today, aren't you? You're just as heavy handed, though. I pat Vanilla's head, and gently placing my hand on Azuki's cheek, I draw her towards me. Sorry that I'm causing you so much pain, Azuki. If you didn't love me, you wouldn't have done those things. You're adorable, Azuki. And I think you've got plenty of charm. When she's got her guard down, when she's doing her best to help out around the shop, when she's just being her regular, unaffected, big sister self, and when she's showing the cute side of her that I don't normally get to see, I'd never dared to say it in front of her, but I've always thought she was quite charming. Sorry for making you say all that. And I'm happy you feel that way, Azuki. Can I hold you, Azuki? My hands tingle as I touch her, and her eyes brighten as she smiles happily. <laughs> she looks up at me and closes her eyes. I slide my head down her cheek and onto her shoulder. I love you too, Azuki. Azuki's petit, petite lips and mine gently overlap with each other. Does that mean we got Azuki in the hair? We did! Holy crap! Ooh. Thumbnail! Azuki looks so cute! I guess she's considered the um, lolly of the care- lolly of the girls. Cause she's the eldest sister, but she looks like a little kid. It it's also because she's technically a munchkin. There's- I think they're like the smallest of the cat breeds. I think. I'm trying to remember based off like a show I used to watch. Mostly when I was bored because I'm more of a dog person, but... I mean, I grew up around dogs more than cats. And... <clears throat> Excuse me. I find it easier to, you know, be around dogs and cats because dogs, I can I at least have a handle on. 
cats, I have no- they are unpredictable as all hell. But I still love- I, I love all kinds of animals, so... Azuki looks away from me, annoyed. We change the sheets and mattress cover. In their place are clean, fluffy ones. I mean, you can't exactly stand up now, right? What can we do? それだけじゃなくてよ。初めてのあとくらいご主人化してあげる。末っ子のサービスにあり。なんて気の使い方されて、それに甘い詰まってる長女がな。it doesn't matter if you're older or younger, there's always something that someone is not very knowledgeable in. So, you know. Chocola got out of the bath, completely clueless of what had just happened. Vanilla convinced her to leave Azuki and I alone. Azuki's been like this ever since coming to her senses. I definitely overdid it too, so it's not like I'm one to talk. I'll have to make sure to thank Vanilla and Chocola again. My cat panions understand me more than I realize. Azuki, um... What we did earlier was reckless, wasn't it? Are you okay? Tuck,謝るくらいならやんじゃねえって話だよ。嫌な相手だったら張り倒してるし。そもそも髪一本触らせたりしねえし。where the hell did the honest Azuki from before go? I guess she's back to being a normal, haughty Azuki again. Oh, I guess this is just who you are. I pet Azuki as I smile wryly. Oh my god, so soon today. She pats as her face flushes. She sounds a bit dejected. It makes me a little sad that she gets this caddy afterwards. Even though she was calling me master only a little while ago. Well then, my bad. I'm really sorry. I'll never do that to you again, Azuki. Can you forgive me? I ask her, dead serious. I can tell by your serious tone that she's not so sure about herself. I'm not sure how to respond. I just like to wait for her to continue. Come <laughs> そういうつもりで言いたかったんじゃなくて、その私は歌唱のこと好きつうか別にそのめんどくせえことが言いたいわけじゃなくて、その私だって急に性格変えられねえんだからそのくらいわかれよ歌唱の。Tears well up in her eyes as she apologizes in her usual insincere fashion. She can be annoying sometimes, but that's one of the things that makes her so cute. And the fact that she's a very caring person beneath all that, beneath it all, makes her even more adorable. Her lack of confidence while putting on a strong face is cute too. I gently stroke Azuki's hair and chuckle as and a, as a chuckle wells up inside me. I understand. It's alright. Because I love you too, Azuki. A blissful smile creeps across her face, and she nods slightly in response. Now then, I get lonely sometimes. So I wouldn't mind if you came to sleep over every now and then. Whenever you feel like it. Every once in a while or whatever. As I give her this intentionally vague invitation, I gently rub her cheek. So 
as she pushes her cheek into my palm. She lets out a faint laugh that I can barely hear, even at this close distance. This tiny cat girl before me is truly adorable. I embrace her delicate body. Well, if we're going to be seeing more of each other every once in a while, I think you should sleep a little closer to me. So, uh, she does know that vanilla, chocolate, and coconut are also a part of this, right? She's okay with it? I hope? Because I'm sharing her with, like, I'm, I'm being shared with three other girls? Good night, Nazuki. In the moonlit room, I hug my childish little cat Panion tightly. Azuki stirs slightly. She brings her lips to my ear. What's up? Yeah, I feel the same. Her gentle purring resounds throughout the room as she presses her forehead up against my body. <laughs> I don't know how much longer I have of this, but I'm gonna end the episode here. And if I... With the next episode, if it's, a sh if it's really short, then I'm just going to edit in with this one. So... Yeah. Um... I'll, I'll, I'll edit this part out. And just let it continue on. Put in, like, a... a, a, a edit in a caption that, say, that says, you know, what happened. So, um... Until then, this is the Gamer Girl, signing off. Bye-bye!